All right, again, picking up where we left off. Uh, again, I kept my face out of this one so you can see the components and the properties and, of course, the blocks in, the net in this video. So if we go to the blocks editor here, we're going to have the four different buttons and we're going to have the web viewer. So for button home, if I click on that, I go to web viewer one. And all I have to do, because we already set up the home page at the beginning, we just go to callwebviewer.1.go home. I was scrolling there, kind of scrolling through to show you there that there are a bunch of different things, just like a text box, but kind of like the sound player has stuff up top that is an action, a call action. This has that as well. And you'll see how this is going to be real easy. So this is home. When you click it, it goes home and tells you it just goes home. Back, the same thing, web viewer, and then go back. Click it in place, forward, web viewer, go forward, then submit. Submit's going to be a little bit different. We don't have a submit button under web viewer. So what we're going to do is when we hit submit, we're going to take web viewer and we're going to take the source of it. I'm sorry about that. The URL and we're going to change it to what's in text box address dot text so basically when we hit the submit button and if you look in the designer view hit the submit button it's going to take what's ever here and it's going to load it here okay so that's really really truly all you need to get all four of your buttons working now what I can do here if I want to add another button to this, I can add a clear button here. Rename it to button clear. And what that'll do is when I click on button clear, it'll clear the address box. So we'll just do set the text two and then we'll have this blank one that we choose and we'll set that and that will just clear your address uh, text box so I'm going to pause this for a minute I'm going to reload the emulator because it crashed on me another app in another app and I didn't reload it yet so I'm going to pause this reload it and I'll be right back with you all right the emulator is just about done loading this so I brought it back up so that you can see um, what it looks like here when it first loads Okay, and click in the white there to get rid of that bottom stuff. Okay, now the only thing I see I didn't do here, and this is why we should always run this first, is I didn't change hint for text box one. So if I go here, we'll just type enter web address. Now it'll reload it so that it says enter web address. And you'll notice it did it. Now it's going to load Google as the home page. Now I'm warning you, this emulator is very, very, very slow on the internet. But if I type, um, you have to do the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, or it's not going to work. Bing.com. Hit submit. And you can see Bing's loading. Beautiful. If I click back, it goes to Google. And it gave an SSL error because I didn't set anything up for SSL to be secure or anything like that. I don't I don't need to for this particular app. So the forward button worked. The clear button works. And the home button works. Okay? So that's a working web browser, and we built that in a very short period of time. So it shows you how powerful the tools are in App Inventor. Um, if you want to move the buttons around, you can. I, now that I load it, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should have put those over here. But it doesn't matter. They all work. They do their job. You can make the user interface however you want. You're the one designing it. But the point of this course is to just show you the basics, how to get this stuff working, how to get the user interface built, and then get the blocks editor to get everything to work. So 
the next two videos are going to be our last course. It's going to be the user interface and then, of course, the blocks editor. And it's going to be a really neat translator, uh, translator app that we make. So I'll see you there.